Two at six, instead of shovels, the San Antonio Housing Authority had a virtual groundbreaking today for its new development, the Legacy at Alison. It's among several others Saha is working on to replace its aging housing projects on the city's west side. Yet Jesse Degollado says Saha's timing and method of marking this occasion is being questioned by some of its critics. This is the land where the legacy at Alasan will be built. An $18 million Saha project of 88 affordable and market rate apartments opening next fall at the site where this Facebook Live video was shot and produced by Saha. It shows an elaborate altar for Dia de los Muertos, created by two West Side artists with the help of the community. This is near and dear to our hearts and to the community. We decided to go with a a heart because it's the corazón. And they use our holiday, Dia de Muertos, to celebrate their deal. But the project's virtual groundbreaking, coupled with the Day of the Dead, is considered disrespectful by those already angry over what they say progress is doing to property taxes in one of the city's poorest areas. And that just is insulting to the community, the, the holiday, and the residents. We're not celebrating these apartments, and you're using the culture of this neighborhood to pretend like you care about the neighborhood. Even the altares and ofrendas put up by Westside families every year at the Rinconcito de Esperanza Arts Center and the community celebration that followed, protesters say could be in jeopardy. Parking and staging for those events had been on the property where the legacy at Alasan will someday stand. Jesse de Goyado, KSAT 12 News. In response, a spokeswoman for Saha says the organizers of the annual event in the future are welcome to use its community centers and other nearby venues.